Suppose there was a spatial dimension above our own, a fourth dimension, one in which we could never possibly imagine. Now, what if I told you that this mysterious fourth dimension might have a lot more to do with our universe than we ever thought? We may even be living on the surface of a four-dimensional hypersphere. To understand this, we have to travel down into the second dimension. Welcome to the world as a flatlander. Living in two-dimensional space, one would be totally unaware of a third dimension, or as we call it, depth. Now suppose there is a flatlander living on the surface of a balloon. This balloon is increasing in size indefinitely, and as it grows, each point on its surface moves away from each other equally. From the perspective of the flatlander, the entire universe would merely be the surface of the three-dimensional sphere it lives on, and there is no clear center of the universe. These same general principles apply to our universe. Let's go back to the third dimension. Just like the Flatlander, we would be naive to think our dimension is the highest. But if we live on a four-dimensional hypershape, why a sphere? Well, actually, the observable universe has proven to be fairly flat aside from the normal rippling of space-time due to gravity as described in general relativity. Scientists have used the rules of geometry to show this by creating extremely huge triangular models. On a convex surface, for example a sphere, these angles would add up to more than 180 degrees, whereas on a hyperbolic shape, they would add up to less than 180 degrees. With the limits of human observation, we have seen that the angles in our universe add up to just over 180 degrees, meaning it's therefore relatively flat. But what we observe to be the universe may only make up a tiny speck of its true surface, meaning that the universe could indeed be curved. When you look out over the horizon, you will most likely see a flat surface. This is because your very limited perspective prevents you from getting the full picture of our spherical planet. Similarly, our rapidly expanding universe gives us very little insight into what's really going on. You may be wondering, if the universe is the surface of a hypersphere, which is an enclosed shape, how could it be expanding? Well, the universe itself cannot expand because there's absolutely nothing outside of the universe. Literally nothing. Anything that exists would fall under the umbrella of the universe. Because of this issue, the only logical explanation is that the universe is not expanding into anything, but rather it's growing in scale. I know, I was confused too. Assuming the universe is infinite, try to remember when you were a kid trying to name a higher and higher number. You may have said infinity, plus one, but in reality, there is nothing larger than infinity. An infinite universe could continue to expand, yet not get any larger, and an infinite universe would have no real boundary, thus supporting a spherical surface. Although we may never know the truth about our universe, with great minds and some creativity, we just might figure it out. And who knows, maybe we're living on the surface of a much bigger, much greater universe in a dimension we could never imagine. <laughs>